Hi, my name is Genevieve, and today in my kitchen, I am making a fruit pizza. This is fruit pizza. Isn't it pretty? So fruit pizza is made out of a sugar cookie crust, a cream cheese whipped cream pizza sauce, fresh fruit, an orange glaze, and it has a white chocolate drizzle on top. Let me show you how I make it. Preheat your oven to 385 degrees. For the sugar cookie crust, you will need sugar, unsalted butter, all-purpose flour, salt, milk, and vanilla extract. I'm actually making this for a party this weekend, so if the ingredients look like more than what is shown, it's because I have doubled this recipe. Empty bowl, and I'm going to cream my butter and my sugar. I'm gonna give the butter a head start. Sugar. Butter and sugar is well incorporated, so I'm going to add my flour and my salt. Mix. All right, see how it looks all dry and crumbly? Now I'm going to add my milk and my vanilla extract. Mix. All done. Your cookie batter should come out looking something like this. Okay. Fruit pizza is typically made in a round pizza pan like this so that when you cut into it you get all the fruits but because I'm making this for a party and I doubled the recipe I'm going to be making it using this rectangle sheet. Ah. I have flattened it out the best that I could, so now I'm going to bake it. My crust is done and it baked for 20 minutes. You know it's done when it it gets nice and golden brown like this. So set this aside and let it cool down completely. Your cream is your pizza sauce and to make that you are going to need some cream cheese, heavy cream, vanilla, and sugar. Empty bowl. Mix it. Okay, it looks nice and worked through, so now I'm going to add my heavy cream. Mix. Sugar. Vanilla extract. Mix. Okay, all done. So you want to beat this as stiff as you can because when you put it on your crust, you don't want it to ooze out or anything. So it should be like really stiff and thick. So I was here beating mine for maybe about three minutes or five minutes before it got like this. Okay. You're all done with this part, set it aside. Now I am going to show you how to make the glaze and for that you will need sugar, cornstarch, orange juice or pineapple juice, water, and juice of half a lemon. I'm going to add all my ingredients in here because all of the cooking takes place on the stovetop. Sugar, cornstarch, orange juice, water, lemon juice.
Mix it a little. Okay, let's go to the stove top. Turn your fire on to medium heat. I'm going to be stirring this continuously because of that cornstarch I added. It's starting to boil. So now I'm going to set a timer for two minutes. My glaze is done and it looks like this. It has this thickness. So now this is going to be placed on the fruit. So you wanna set this aside and make sure it cools down completely before we put it on the fruit. Now it's time for the toppings, which is your fruit. And the fruit that I really like to put on my pizza is pineapple, kiwis, peaches, strawberries, and blueberries. So now I'm going to wash and cut my fruit. I have all my elements ready, my cookie, my cream cheese whipped cream, my glaze, and my fruit all cut. So now it's just time to assemble it. Just put this on the cookie. Now place your fruit and I'm going to arrange mine in rows. Isn't that pretty? All right, now I'm going to put my glaze on and I am going to paint it on. Okay, this last part is extra credit, but I feel like it just brings the overall dessert together and makes it look really, really beautiful. And it's the white chocolate topping. So I have here some white chocolate chips that I'm gonna melt in the microwave. And to prevent your white chocolate from getting ruined in the microwave, you don't wanna heat it for too long. So I'm only gonna heat it for 45 seconds at first. I'm gonna stir it up and if it still needs more time, I'm only gonna put it back in for 10 seconds and stir it up until it's fully melted. Melted. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this in a little, oh, dang it. This is gonna be my piping bag. See? All right. Now I'm going to cut a hole at the end right here and I want my drizzle to be really skinny so my hole is gonna be really, really small. I'm gonna go diagonal from corner to corner, like that.
it's time for a taste test. Um, I'm going to get this little corner right here. Here's a close-up. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. So good. Have another one. This is really good. If you like this recipe and this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on all the other recipes that I want to share. Thanks for watching.